So there's part of me that has never felt more clear than right now. You see, last night, so yesterday, I'm staying with Hannah, obviously, and she lives in Missouri, so <laughs> Missouri, it's legal to have um, recreational marijuana or whatever, not in Alabama, but she ended up getting some edibles, and she gets like, um, she gets like 100 milligram per thing, right? I know that I can't do that much. I, I know my tolerance very well. I know how things affect me. And since I don't smoke all the time, I don't take edibles all the time, I just ate half of it. And when I <laughs> I had such a divine spiritual awakening. It's not even funny. Um, there's this beautiful angel that I follow on Instagram and she came to me um, in a meditation yesterday and it was one of the most beautiful, amazing, serene experiences where I just had tears rolling down my face and I was like, okay. And she just grabbed my hands and she picked me up and was like, we're doing this together. And she told me, I have known you since the beginning. And it took me through a flashback, right? So I immediately had this flash of whenever I was little. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've told you guys that I grew up in this in a very, my mom was very strict Catholic. And she grew up in a Catholic um, household and she went to a Catholic school. And whenever she graduated high school, she went to a Catholic college. Catholicism is pretty much all she knows <laughs> and although she says like she went and studied different world religions she came back to Catholicism because that's what felt like home for her and given her upbringing of course that makes sense right <clears throat> so I remember distinctly one day I was in my bed and I started crying just like last night and I had tears rolling down my face and people whenever kids start crying they automatically think something's wrong right and I've never been that kind of person. I've always been the kind of person I cry all the time. I cry when I'm happy. I cry whenever I'm excited. I cry when I'm angry or sad, yeah. But I cry so often in my life. I remember I used to get embarrassed at school because I would just cry. Anyways, but I was started crying and I said, mom, I, I saw an angel. And my mom was like, what did they look like? What did this angel look like? And I described her. I was like, she's she has a uh, very red hair. She's in this white gown. And my mom immediately grabbed my face like that <laughs> and started praying over me, saying, "That's a demon. That's a demon. You can't see angels' faces." And although, granted, in the Bible, angels are very terrifying. Um, whenever come one comes to Earth, I do feel like whenever you have an earth angel those are a little bit different because earth angels look just like humans they're the angel soul in a human body right and whenever i saw this i was seeing this earth angel that i wouldn't know and wouldn't find on social media until 28 years later and it didn't click in my head until yesterday that i had seen her before and whenever I, I saw her, whenever I was little, I felt so at peace that I knew, even though my mom was grabbing my head, praying for me, and telling me that it was a demon, I was like, no, I felt it. That wasn't a demon. I was not scared. I knew what I felt. And although I could feel that clearly in my heart and I knew it in my head, to have somebody else understand that is a little bit different, especially whenever you're grown up learning to fear things that you don't understand, like my mom was. 